to start with some incredible facts. It has over 500 million visitors annually, of which a whopping 270 million come from Germany alone, its founder's country, where over 80 million liters of malt wine are consumed every single year. We are talking about Christmas markets. We are two medical students here in Romania. And whilst we're here, we plan to share our adventures and put this beautiful country on the map. And in this video, we want to find out more about the Christmas market in Bucharest. The boss is here, man. Covid. Pull oh. away your masks. No, this is actually my first time going to the Christmas market, so I'm really excited to see what I can see um, and what I can buy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what happened there? I thought you were next in line. But the woman gently asked me if she can be first. Max 50 euros or not. Normally I, I go there but once someone kicked me. French, English or Romanian. 200 euros. Lay. You don't even have 200 euros. <laughs> That's only this time. Looks nice as hell. I'm I'm excited because as I said before I've never been to a Christmas market before. Yeah, I'm hoping to try some really nice food. Hello. Hello? Wait, what? Online tickets with barcode entry. And if we even go back further. Transportation apps like Freenow, Uber, Bolt. That was very surprising for us coming to Romania. But we weren't surprised anymore when we found out about this. Romania was placed fourth in the international ranking of broadband speed in 2021. You would have never expected it. Let's give this thing a try. How is it? Oh, it's nice. This, this is very strong. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is dangerous. So. <laughs> this stuff is strong. If you're here and you're buying one of these, just buy one. Mate, that was nice. He was a really nice guy as well. He said he loved us and we thought that he was drunk. Like we asked him. But he was insanely nice. Oh, it's so sweet. This is like um what is it? What, do you, what is it like? It's like um, sugar that you melt it, kind of. Nice. <laughs> Tuika is Romanian's very own moonshine. Dating back centuries, it's an alcoholic drink made from plums and usually contains 40 to 50% alcohol. Palinka, on the other hand, or fire water, as it's commonly known as, has Hungarian origins dating back to the 19th century and can be made from various different fruits. Both are spirits that are typically drunk in shot glasses, before, during and after meals. And now the most important thing, cheers in Romanian is Norok. Do you guys have like a website? Usually with Palinka it's like very strong, especially when it's like 50% like that, it's burning your throat. This one was, uh, like she said, because it's uh, distilled and uh, stored for one year. It's not burning like crazy and it made it so nice. And it was a family business, so very nice of her to get so, us some stuff to try. But it's Christmas time, we're all about giving. Yeah, we got the wine, we got Palinka. Palinka might be like Zuika. Kred? Da, sigur. Da. Hey. <laughs> we, want, we want two more, isn't it? If you're here 
And you're buying one of these. Just buy one. Go in here. Go in here. What is the smell? This. No, no, no. What does it smell like? Shit. That's your bonus. Merci, mon. Merci. What's the mess? What's the mess? What's the mess? What's the mess? What is this kind of music? This, this is not Christmas spirit. This is you expect something more, more like a um, Romanian. Man, Manele. This is Manele. Yeah. All the, the bad Romanian taxi drivers start to sing like this. This year the Christmas market is in a different spot. It's in front of the big parliament of the former dictator Ceausescu. But he's not home this weekend, so <laughs> just gonna celebrate here. <laughs> Ginger. Oh, this one is nice. I will buy this. Yeah. So it's actually all handmade. What's the mean? I need something to know to warm me up a little bit. <laughs> you <laughs> you make look me so stupid. So <laughs> I look so stupid. <laughs> no, I don't. This looks nice. <laughs> Just buy one. <laughs> we show them how nice the people are here. How yeah. is the weather in London? Rainy. Nice people, isn't it? Romanians nice. are very kind. First moment, you think like, oh, are they not willing to talk to me, whatever. But if you talk to them, almost never happens that that someone is like not nice. Yeah, never. I think lemon is so. It's like the little boy. Which one should I get? What is? <laughs> I think it's time to eat something. Caramelized Caramelized Campanians <laughs> Caramelized Did you hear what he said? Caramelized Merci Mmm This is uh um, This is good This is very beautiful Thank you Very very nice Copper and silver leaves Good lights, nice music Good vibe 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 Okay <laughs> Honestly, it's very good here. I really wish I was on there. It's closing now and I'm regretting not buying a ticket. Sweater is nice. Huh? Mm. What is that? Fried dough filled with some yogurt, some chocolate over it. How does it taste? <laughs> this is really good. Tasty? Very tasty. Oh. Oh. What's the name? It smells very good. It's dough. It's wrapped around the wooden stick and then it's uh, baked over the open fire. It's actually very good. Hello, hello, hello. Where exactly are you? We are still waiting for some friends uh, from uni to come here and um, go for some ice skating and yeah, we will see how it will be. Oh, yes. So I'm alright. 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 This is better than you know. Somebody here is uh, it's probably the best ice skater around. At the end of all the videos we will explore and try out new things, we'll talk about our experience as a whole and give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 10 eagles. So you will know if it's worth visiting or not. And those of you who've been to the Christmas market here, write down in the comments how many eagles you would give it. So here we go. Talking about the Christmas market, I think it was a great experience. It was my first time really on a Christmas market in a different culture. Well, what I liked about it is that the food, for example, was completely different to what I was used to. I enjoyed it. What is also nice to mention is that all the stuff you could buy, all the people that had their local products, stuff they were uh, producing, they sold it for a very fair price. That's something I have to mention because in Germany, on some Christmas markets, it happens that you have to pay so much for simple products. They definitely know about craftsmanship here in Romania and yeah. For me, the whole experience was good. We had a lot of fun. I would give it 8 out of 10 eagles. And I'm excited for next year.
How was my first experience at the Christmas market? I enjoyed myself and I think one of the main reasons why I enjoyed myself was because I had all my friends here. Um, so I got to experience loads of new things, loads of new smells, loads of new tastes, rows and rows and rows and rows of people cooking stuff on open fire and you could see smoke rising from everywhere. You can smell it from like so far away. Um, but I'd say one of the things that I found kind of a little bit annoying um, was the fact that there wasn't so much Christmas music. When it's Christmas time, I like there to be Christmas music. But apart from that, everyone was so nice. Like I got to have so many nice conversations, so many good conversations with people selling stuff at the stalls. I'd give it an eight out of 10 people. Very nice, good friends, good people, good wine, um, and yeah. Thanks for watching guys. This was our experience here on the Christmas Market in Bucharest. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and turn on the post notifications if you don't want to miss out on any further videos. And since Christmas is coming up very soon, we from Romaniac would like to wish you guys a Merry Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We have had so much fun starting YouTube this year and we are very excited for the year 2022. So stay tuned. And if you also want to study medicine or dentistry here in Romania, fill out one of the forms on our website and we will help you to get a place to study as well. And if you want to have an insight into the life of other international medical students, check out our student profile. La revedere and ciao!